All aboard, it's Jang here with my first look at Playmobil Series 9 Mystery Pack or Blind Bag Figures. The first of these that I've ever had in my hands and I bought these online so no checking of codes. They're just completely random but I will share with you the codes. So I'll try to remember to do that as I open these up and I do have more so there will be more of these videos but uh, you can keep track of the codes yourself. So you can see what I ended up getting out of each. And these are all completely new to me, so I know nothing about them. Uh, if there's any reference online as yet, of what all these are, if they have any sort of official or semi-official kind of names, that would be great to see. But for now, I'm just interested to see what I get. Like I said, I did get more of these, and I'll probably get more in the future. Up, oh, up. Oh, do I already have? Yep, I already have a duplicate. First of the pink ones. Let's see what kind of luck I get. Well, that's a good one to get from that series. Wow, this is this is really pearlescent. That's shocking in a good way. There's another. Oh, is this the same thing? No, it is not. I recognize one of the numbers. Yeah, this is different. Good, good. Oh, 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 that's the first one. Okay, well that's, that's odd. Okay, so it looks like I was just confusing myself by looking at the wrong numbers on the package, that's all. So I got two of what looks like a Mongolian archer there, a Mongolian warrior. He has a very nice bow, each one, and also a fairly long sword to go with it. And he's got a little bit of a uh, upper chest armor, some nice glyphs going down, uh, a belt that's tied off, also has protection for the the bow arm going across the, the wrist right there in the center is a team Playmobil tennis player who incidentally came with two rackets and so I just equipped both of them. These uh, wristbands go all the way around and they're actually silicone rubber pieces so you just slide it over the, the hand and it just kind of forms around. It's also got a headband on. Let's take a look at these. From the other side, you see the Mongolian archers or warriors each have a quiver and a scabbard. So I put the, the sword in one of them. And there's the look at the back of the detail of the, the headband on that one. So there we go. Yeah, I got unlucky with one duplicate there, but it's interesting to see these figures for the first time, for me at least. The bad luck was multiplied by two with the pink bagged figures because you see I have a malformed hand right here. That one just uh, half of the mold worked out for it and half of it didn't. But fortunately, for the sake of showing these to all of you, I did get one that has the, the proper hand. Nice bouquet for each. I'm assuming these are brides or they could be bridesmaids or, or maid of honor, but I think they're, I think they're supposed to be brides. No, maybe they're, maybe they're maids of honor, come to think of it. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in a comment. And then the center figure is really nice. The, the skater girl, she's got uh, a print going across the, uh, the front of her, her pants, like cargo pants. They're a little bit on the baggy side with the, the pocket on either side. This has a little bit of pearlescence to her top and the nice stars on there. It's just a little bit pearly. Also, the same thing with these dresses here. It's a white print on top of a very pearly, slightly cream color, but I think pearl is really the, the closest match to it. Also a little bit of pearlescence to the pink right here. Uh, it's a little bit surprising also with the, the hood on that center figure who has just a little bit easier to see back here, a little bit of speckling, just a little bit of darker, very small dots that are just included in that, that main kind of light lavender color that's used there. You see these dresses have these nice kind of tails that come off the back and these are kind of custom custom torso builds. They don't use the, the standard torso builds that's compatible with all of the, the Playmobil stuff. So they just have a very long main uh, uh, 
you saw that when I, when I had the, the, the parts out, the, the main legs kind of go all the way up inside of there. One last thing with the skater girl, she has her skateboard, which has a print on the top of it. And that, that uh, clear piece that's inserted there just you know, helps to hold the feet. And of course that can be rotated around so the figure can be posed in different ways. And the, the skateboard actually does roll and there's a little bit of, of weight in it as well. So this is a bit heavier than I would normally expect. And that's a good thing. So there's the totality of what I got out of this particular batch. Like I said, I've got more of these to come, more of these to open, and we'll see how far I get towards uh, completing a collection this time. Wasn't able to make it all the way through Series 8 before I had to move on to Series 9, but we'll see how this works out. So thank you very much for watching. I've got more of these to come as well as more regular reviews, and I'll be talking to you again very soon.